So today's video is going to be my February favorites. And in case you haven't already noticed, um, I am coming to you in like A to D. Um, I'm trying out using my flip cam for this video, and I am a little less comfortable talking to it than I am my MacBook, but hopefully I don't appear like too awkward or nervous because I am just a little bit. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this quality better and think that I should film in this like all the time, give the video like a thumbs up so you can tell me. Not all my favorites this month are nail or hand favorites, but some of them are. And most of them are just general like beauty favorites, so I hope that you guys don't mind me posting this video on this channel. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do it, and I really enjoy watching these types of videos. And February has been a big month for favorites for me, so I wanted to share some of the products that I found along the way with you guys. First up is OPI Nail Envy. This is the current base code that I have been using. Um, I had a lot of problems with my nails peeling, and I got a lot of recommendations to try this, and I did, and I have seen such a drastic improvement in my nails. It's incredible. Like, I don't have peeling nails anymore after using it for about a month. Um, I'm super impressed with it, and if you have a problem with peeling nails, I would definitely recommend this base coat. And I have another um, nail and hand product for you here. Um, this is actually from Bath & Body Works. It's the True Blue Spa Super Softening Hand Lotion. I actually got this gratis because I'm an employee there, and like during the holiday season, we got um, little scratch-off cards where we scratched it off and got something for free, and this was one of the items that I got, and I love it so much. I will be repurchasing this. As you can see, I have definitely used it almost entirely up. Um, I got a different hand lotion, but I'm not in crazy. I'm not in crazy. I'm not crazy about it, but I really, really liked this one, and I think that I'm actually going to go ahead and buy the like value size of it because it's definitely worth it. And if you're looking for a hand, good hand cream that's like really softening and helps your cuticles, I would recommend this one. So quite a few of my favorites this month are um, products that I got for free from work or are just Bath & Body Works products because I work there so I'm there all the time and I see stuff that I want and I can try different things like when I'm in the store and stuff so that's pretty neat. Um, this is another item that I got for free. It is the Cinnamon Supreme 2 times um, Moisturizing Lip Shine and I love this. It's from the um, CO, I don't know if it's Bigelow, that's how I always say it. I'm probably saying it wrong, but um, I love this stuff. It's not sticky, it's definitely shiny. Um, I like the cinnamon flavor the best, but I'm, I'm so impressed with it. Like, I don't even have words because I love this stuff so much. It's not just a lip gloss, it's also moisturizing and like I normally am someone who has like super super chapped lips in the winter so I've been trying a bunch of different um products for like my lips to keep them from being unchapped and I have found this one is awesome because not only does it smell good taste good um it's really shiny my hair like doesn't like stick in it too badly when it's windy because I live somewhere where it's super windy so I don't wear a lot of lip gloss but I'm pretty much in love with it. And we had a sale at work um, a couple days ago where all of our lip glosses were $3, and I picked up two more. Oh, this one's backwards. But, um, so now I have, like, a little trio, um, but I also got Vanilla Mint and Spearmint, which is delicious. So, um, my favorite is still the cinnamon, but I liked it so much that I picked up two more, so... There you go. And the last Bath & Body Works product that I'm going to be showing you today is this Fragrance Mist in the fragrance Berry Flirt. I also got the shower gel and the lotion, and I am in love with this stuff. Um, I got it on sale using some coupons, so I didn't pay full price. This was actually completely free, um, so use those coupons. But um, Berry Flirt is one of our Sweethearts collections that we, um, one of our Sweetheart collection fragrances that we um, did for Valentine's Day in like February. And um, my original favorite from the collection was Daisy Dream Girl, but I tried Berry Flirt and Daisy Dream Girl on my skin, and this one smelled so good, and Daisy Dream Girl didn't smell good at all on me. And I was like, well, obviously the choice is clear. But I really, really like this. I've been using the lotion a lot. I've been using the shower gel, and this is the first time that I've ever really had like the entire like fragrance package type thing, and I like it. So um, I'm really impressed with this. Also, when I run out of the lotion, I'm just going to be using my pink like wild and breezy lotion, so this goes really well with that too if you have that lotion. So I went a little bit benefit um, product crazy this month. I got a bunch of different ones that I have really enjoyed using, and I'm going to share those with you. So starting out is um, Benefit High Beam. High Beam I really, really like. I didn't know if it was going to look good on me because my skin has like yellow undertones and this is very pinky but it's actually super flattering, and I love that, and I'm so excited. Last month, I was really frustrated because the blush that I had been using for well over a year, Milani Luminoso, um, I hit pan on it, and 
suddenly like it changed and it wasn't staying on my cheeks all day like it used to have really awesome lasting power for me and it just wasn't anymore and so I thought like maybe it was powder blushes because none of my other powder blushes were really like having a lot of lasting power either so I wanted to try some cream blushes so then um, I didn't have any cream blushes so I tried using like lipsticks as blush and that worked really well for a long time and I really liked the color variety that I have because I could do like oranges or corals or pinks because I have a lot of lipsticks and I finally decided I was either going to break down and get um, Benefit Posy Tint, obviously, which I did, or I was going to get the MAC um, Cream Blend cream blend Blushes. But um, I did end up getting... Po I, d I cannot talk today. I'm so sorry. I did end up getting Posy Tint, and I love it. I am so in love with this product. It is everything that I wanted it to be. I had tried, like, Benetint um, type products. Like, I had, like, a similar cheek stain. And I really didn't like how watery it was, and I felt like it just like left my cheeks splotchy, and I couldn't blend it out really well. So I was a little bit nervous for this, but this is actually like more of like a milky texture. I'm sure you guys know this. This is a super popular product, but um, it's really easy to blend, and it gives me just the like hot pink, flushed look that I really like for my cheeks. And yeah, uh, totally in love with this. So totally worth the money. And I'm really excited about it. When I purchased that at Ulta, I got a free sample, um, but they only had like the really dark complexions of the Hello Flawless Oxygen Foundation or whatever it was that they were giving. Um, it's like the foundation that Benefit has. Um, and I was like, well, obviously I'm not going to use that because I'm super pale and that's like for a rich chocolatey skin tone. So obviously not me. But um, so she went through a couple other different ones, and she was like, oh, here, I can give you um, a sample for, like, Smashbox Primer, and I was like, that breaks me out really bad. And she's like, oh. So we went through, like, four or five different, like, samples. She was super nice. I was like, really, I don't need anything. Like, it's okay. Like, you don't have to, like, do so much work for me. And she's like, no, no, I want to find you something. And she finally came out with um, the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. And this is actually an eyeshadow primer, and I was really excited because I have a lot of other Lorac products, and I really like the brand, and the products seem to work well for me. And I was like, yeah, definitely, I'll try that. That's awesome. So I have been using it, and I love it not for priming my eyeshadow, but for priming, like, my concealer. Like, if I put it under my eyes, my concealer lasts all day, and I love that. Okay, and then back to Benefit products. I have been using two different concealers. Um, I've been using Erase Paste and the Boying Concealer. And I love these together. Um, I still, they're still not like my holy grail concealer. And I think part of that is because my dark circles are genetic and they look like bruises under my eyes. They are extremely hard to cover up. You can probably still see them now, even though I'm wearing both of these right now. But back to these. Great concealers. Awesome. Um, this one is especially good because I got it in shade number two, medium. And it has like a really pinky undertone, which helps cover like the dark, like purple undertones and stuff in my dark circles. And I really, really like that. And I apply this with a brush. I don't apply it with the, like, scoopy thing it came with because I feel like that's, like, spackling and... I don't know. I don't want to spackle on my face. But I use a brush to apply um, this one. I use my finger to apply this one. This one is in the shade number one because it's closer to my skin tone. Um, but I layer these. I do a race paste, then boing, then a little bit of a race paste just, like, right here to, like, brighten. Because this one has a brightening effect and this one doesn't because this one is for, like, all over your face. The next product is a product that I bought on Hot Look. Um, is it Hot Look or Outlook? Outlook? I don't know. I probably can't say it. I say Hot Look in my head, so that's how I'm going to say it here. But I know that that's not really how I'm supposed to say it, but don't be all fancy pants on me. Um, but this is the Pixie Glow Magic Tink Tint. I love this stuff so much. Um, I have been searching for the perfect, like, bubblegum pink lip product for me, and I'm having, well, not anymore, but I had a super, super hard time finding one because they were either too bright or too pale, and none of them really flattered my skin tone very well, and I heard about the Dior lip gloss that, like, or not lip gloss, but, like, the lipstick stain, whatever they have that comes in, like, the light pink tube that, like, changes color with your lips to get you your perfect, um, pink shade, and, and then other people were recommending, who were recommending that, were recommending this product, and this came up on Outlook, and I was like, I'm going to go for it. So I got it, and it is like a pencil that's like a gloss bomb finish, and it gives me such a pretty, pretty pink, like, flush to my lips. I'm not wearing it today, but I love it. It's my go-to. Okay, and my last favorites for this month are mascara favorites, but I have been using these two in conjunction with each other, which is CoverGirl Clump Crusher and Benefit Bad Gal Lash. 
Um, and pretty much the only reason I've been using them together is because this one I accidentally got in black brown and this one is black and so I was like well if I put them together then it'll still give me like a dark look. But I think um, when like I run out of this one I'm just going to purchase this one in black because I love this mascara. So this is more like a rave about this one but this one is awesome too. This is actually the first um, spoolie brush that I have ever had any luck with. It's obviously giant. Part of the problem is that it's such like a short thing because it's like a tester size. But um... I love, love, love this spoolie brush. I have never loved a spoolie brush. I tried the Maybelline Falsies and it sucked. I hated it so much. Everybody on YouTube raves about it and I was like, this makes my lashes look terrible. So I have kind of like sworn off spoolie brushes because like every single one I've tried doesn't work for me. I pretty much am exclusively like a plastic brush girl. Um, but I really, really like this one, and if you're looking for one that gives you like a super natural look, but still really dramatic, which is kind of contradictory, but it works. Um, Bad Gal Lash works super, super well for me. And last but not least, this is kind of like an empty slash favorite because I have used it all up um, during the month, and I'm talking about the Yes to Grapefruit Correct and Repair Brightening Face Towelettes. Um, they remove your makeup, they cleanse, exfoliate, and brighten your skin. And I love what these do for my skin. I actually purchased these on a whim, and I, I love them. I do. Um, the only reason I didn't repurchase them when I ran out was because the smell was starting to get to me. Like, the first time that you use them, you're like, oh, this is so fruity and fun, and yay. And then, like, 20 wipes in, you're like, I hate the smell of this. You guys know what I'm talking about. So I did repurchase um, a different... Or I did purchase a different makeup removing cleansing wipe and I really don't like those as much as I like these and this one also has like a really awesome like opening closure it's like plastic so it's like it really keeps them like moist and I'm not afraid of them drying out um the other one is just like a peel off plastic and then you like stick it back like a lot of them are but um yeah, I think after I finish the current ones that I have, I'm going to go back to these because I love them. So that is all of my February favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video or found some products um, that you are interested in trying. And yeah, remember to um, give this video a thumbs up if you like the new quality, if I should continue to use it, or if you like um, the personal or whatever nature of my MacBook. Um, but yeah, that's about all I have to tell you guys today. Um, leave a comment below with your February favorites. I want to know what products you're trying because I always love trying new products. If you guys have like a holy grail concealer, let me know because I am still on the search for my holy grail even though I have found like some good ones. Um, but yeah, I'll have like all the links to like my blog and like my manicure and all that kind of stuff in the bottom bar. Bye. I'm just blabbering on. I swear, I'm so sorry. This video is going to like take forever because I won't shut up.